and I think we can start very easy by getting our fonts as well as having our font awesome. And last but not least, why don't we change the name of the actual application that we're having? And we already know that we can do that in the index HTML. I'm going to head over there. Then we're not going to call this react app. I'm going to say that this is going to be a recipes application. Again, you can name this however you would like. You can also maybe use food to fork or anything like that. That would be my first thing. Next, I'm going to head over to Google fonts. So in this case, we're going to write Google fonts and within the Google fonts, we obviously have many, many options, but I'm going to be looking for two specific ones. So the first one is going to be open sense. That's going to be my first font that I would want. And the second one is I'm not going to even try to pronounce it for you. I'm just going to write Corget, or I did actually try to pronounce it. Hopefully this was correct. I'm going to add both of them. And now I'd like to obviously load them. I have a few options. I can import it into my CSS, or we can just say that we're going to be embedding this since we already are in the index HTML anyway. Why don't we embed it in the index HTML? And then let's say right after the title, there's going to be comment, Google fonts, and copy and paste our fonts. I would also suggest not closing the screen right now because in the next video, we're going to work in CSS. So you would want to use them then. Uh, at this point, I don't want to switch to CSS and start working there. So maybe I think a better option would be just keeping this browser window open. And then I'm also going to look for the font awesome. Again, we're going to use the CDN. I'm going to say start. And then the moment we're going to click on start, this is going to be our CDN to get our font awesome. I'm not going to test them out. I think we have done quite a few projects for us to know how this is going to work. So font awesome, that's going to be my next thing. And the moment I'm going to copy and paste it, everything should be working fine. However, before we start working in the app CSS and with the bootstrap, why don't we head over to our source file or source folder? And then within the app JS, I would just like to make some changes where I'm going to get rid of the logo. I will going to get the logo deleted altogether. I'm going to say yes, I would like to delete it. Now, obviously, this is going to complain right now. I will going to lose the app CSS, meaning I will going to keep the app CSS. Sorry, I think I said I will going to lose. And then you know what here, as always, we're going to start very, very basic. There is going to be a div and hello from our recipe app, something along the lines of this kind of text. And now once we have set up the HTML, as well as we have set up our source, why don't we copy and paste everything that we have in a set of files. And in this case, I'm going to open up the folder side by side, just so you can see everything better. What's happening. So I have my source folder. So far, so good. And then I have my setup files. And within the setup files, I have two things. I have data. And I have images. And I'm just gonna either drag and drop them or however you would like. And I'm going to get these two folders here in my source folder. That would be our basic setup. And now we're ready to move on and start working with our CSS.